Is anyone out there? Does anybody listen or care anymore? We are living on a dying planet. We're killing everything that's alive. And anyone who tries to deny it. So I wrote these songs for a dying planet I'm sorry but I'm telling the truth And for everybody trying to say that These songs are for you too Is there anyone out there Hi, I'm Kyle Sager. I hope you enjoyed this performance of Joe Walsh's song for a dying planet. It was the title track of a 1992 LP. I fell in love with this song the first time I heard it. I've played it for a few other friends before recording it and putting it up now. And other friends have told me that, that they thought the song was haunting, which is exactly how I reacted to it. Walsh's 1992 album was not all that he had hoped for, and I think that there's probably a variety of reasons why this is the case. Among them, the album seems a bit disconnected. That is, that the songs are so far-reaching. Uh, the, the title, both of that song and the album, might lead you to believe that it was sort of an activist album, but that's not really what it, it was at all. It was more of a Joe sort of finding himself in the early 90s as an artist. Shortly thereafter, the 94 time frame, he reconnected with the Eagles and uh, Glenn Fry and Don Henley, and that they had perhaps sort of laid an ultimatum down. You need to clean up your act a little bit, that he needed to, to get clean as far as, uh, as, far as drug, drug use and some other things. So I love a number of things about the song. One of the things I love most about this song is that Joe Walsh is playing the piano and not the guitar. What's not to love about that? The guitar is this trademark instrument and certainly his first go-to, but Joe Walsh is nothing if not a musician's musician. And I think he displays that throughout the album, which tests all kinds of, of waters as far as presenting and, and arranging music and instruments um, from the rock era. Thanks again for listening to Song for a Dying Planet.